In this example, we are going to calculate the capacitance of spherical capacitor. We have a spherical capacitor consists of two thin concentric spherical conducting shells of radius R1 and R2. The inner shell carries uniformly distributed charge plus Q on its surface. This one. And the outer shell has an equal amount of charge but is negative. We call it minus Q. Inside we have plus Q, and outside we have minus Q. The objective is to find the formula for the capacitance of this spherical capacitor. Now we are going to use the definition of electric potential difference between uh, between the R1 and R2. Once we find this electric potential difference we will get the capacitance. The electric potential difference between R1 and R2 by definition is given by V1 minus V2 will be the integral from R1, which is the here, from R1 to R2 E dL. So the definition of E vector times dL will be E dL cosine of theta. Theta is the angle between the displacement vector and the electric field direction. So in this case, the electric field is outward. If I go at this point from here to here, the electric field will be outward. Now, the, if I, then my displacement also, it goes in that direction, dl, because we go from R1 to R2, we go outward. That means this, the angle is just zero. The cosine of zero is one. The electric uh, E vector times dL, it will be just E dL. Now also, this dL is radial. We just put it dR. Now the electric potential difference V1 minus V2 become the integral from R1 to R2 E dr now we are going to calculate the electric field inside this zone means between r1 and r2 means inside this magenta sphere so we use a gauss's law to find this electric field inside this zone we said the gauss's law says the integral on enclosed area e times dA equals to q enclosed which is in this case, what are charges we have inside this magenta sphere is just plus Q. And here over epsilon zero. Now we need to know the definition of E vector times dA vector. It will just E in magnitude times dA times cosine of the angle between dA and E. dA is the unit vector. Uh, of the surface is the element of the area vector. Now, if I take this magenta uh, magenta sphere, the outer, the, the normal to this area is vector perpendicular to the area, and we call it dA, and is outward. It will be dA and outward. Now, this is, we call it the element, the normal to the area, this dA, by definition, is the element of the area I take from this Gaussian surface, is the area, times this vector, we call it normal to the area, means it's perpendicular to the area. This n is unit vector normal to the area, times the area. So now if we look to electric field, the electric uh, charge, we have a positive charges here, positive charges here, positive charge. What will be the electric field on this area? It will also outward and in the same direction as dA. So this theta will be just the zero. So the cosine of zero is one. V1 
this EDA with just EDA. This is what will be electric flux A times DA vector with just ADA. And this is Q enclosed over epsilon zero. The Q enclosed is just plus Q. Now what we have, uh, the, the electric field uh, is uniform on this zone, is constant and uniform. It can go outside the integral. It will be just the integral of the element of area, of uh, gases area, which is this E times the integral dA will be just Q or plus Q over epsilon z. Now, the sum of the element of surfaces here, uh, it will be the total surface, it will be just the Gaussian surface. The electric field will be Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared. Remember the Gaussian area, we just 4 pi r squared. The area, rad the sphere radius is r, and the area of sphere is 4 pi r squared. Now we found the electric field produced by this plus Q in this area. Now we go calculate the electric potential between R1 and R2. The electric potential difference between R1 and R2, which is the integral from R1 to R2 E dr. So this E is... Uh, Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared the dr. Now, we, this Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 can go outside the integral. It will just 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. Uh, the total charge upstairs, Q, and integral dr over r squared between r1 and r2. The integral of dr over r squared, you negative 1 over r. Here will be q over 4 pi epsilon 0 times negative 1 over r between r2 and r1. Electric potential difference v1 minus v2. It will be q over 4 pi epsilon 0 factor of 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 is equals, I put the same denominator, 4 pi epsilon 0 r, r1 r2 factor upstairs is q and factor of r2 minus r1. v1 minus v2 will be this. v1 minus v2 times, times this term, which is 4 pi epsilon 0 R1, R2 over R1 minus R, R2 minus R1. R2 minus R1 equals to Q. And this term we said is capacitance. Then the capacitance of spherical capacitor, it would be 4 pi epsilon 0 R1 times R2 over the difference between R1 and R2.